Ashweta, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about the position that you've been recruited for? I work as an uh, CA engineer. Ashweta, can you tell me a bit more about your experience of studying at Skilling? Yeah, so I have started Skilling at 2019 and I have started with the uh, course called uh, Open Form using MATLAB. So uh, means it was a beginning course and then eventually I moved with the ANSI student, STAR CCM and uh, GTPAR. So uh, the means I feel like in that case uh, my knowledge is growing, uh, means like uh, uh, it is sequentially growing I can say like at back end what things are happening. Uh, so that I got to know through my first course and then what the commercial softwares are and how the advancement uh, happens in the CFT domain. So yeah, I think uh, I had a lot of value addition in that case. Can you tell us how different the skilling course was in comparison to your undergraduation? Uh, well, uh, it was totally different because undergraduate, uh, I have joined the skilling after postgraduate. So there I had a little bit touch of CFT, but not so much of exposure to it. And uh, I think uh, uh, means I wanted a better exposure in a CFT, that's why I joined a skilling. So, yeah, so I okay. get a better okay. exposure, knowledge I can say. Uh, means uh, how to deal with the uh, different projects. All this thing I got to know uh, through CFT only. How do you think the skilling course was different from your post graduation course? Did you find a major difference between these two as well? Uh, yeah, so uh, I felt like uh, academic things are means they are totally focusing on theoretical and they have their different practical uh, things. But here we can completely focus on our area of interest. Uh, that's the one thing. Other thing is uh, we can improve ourselves uh, through the knowledge, uh, through the uh, challenges we are solving. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, so many uh, clarity. Uh, I, I get a lot of clarity in that case. So it is totally different. Means I got to know what happen, uh, what happens in the uh, industry, uh, like how the people using this kind of softwares there, and what kind of work can be done. Uh, yeah, means I in lots of domain I have studied the CFD. I can say uh, means I got to know different kind of physics also in that case. So yeah, means it was totally different. And uh, in comparison to your uh, classmates with whom you studied, what advantage do you think you have in comparison to your classmates who did not take up a skilling course? Uh, well, when I take a skilling course at that time, I was, uh, means, uh, what I can say, unemployed as well as uh, I was having a less uh, technical knowledge. So I don't know about others, honestly, uh, because I never check up uh, in that sense. So, but I think that I have a value addition. Um, means I can compare myself uh, with my previous version and the current one. So current one is much better. And how relevant do you think the projects are that you do at Skilling to the job market out there? Uh, yeah, so uh, in that case, uh, means uh, Skilling is uh, trying to teach you a course. So in there, they try to cover all the domains uh, means they have uh, or we have inside the uh, CFD, I can say. But when we enter into a job market, in that case, uh, means things are get more uh, magnified and specific, I think so means now I'm feeling like that way so uh, means uh, like I have studied the GT bar so I didn't get any uh, means space to uh, implement my GT bar knowledge yeah but I do get uh, uh, some of the uh, star CCM knowledge uh, to use in my uh, job 
nowadays uh, yeah and uh, yeah means uh, but uh, the basic remains the same so yeah they help it um, means basic will help you in lots of case uh, uh, again i can say like uh, industry means every industry has a different environment and a different working uh, means areas so yeah there they couldn't exactly match i can i can say means okay and can you also tell us about your experience in uh, dealing with our technical support staff how helpful were they for my first case they were very helpful means first uh, case <laughs> in the sense uh, my first course then i go for a uh, star ccm so it was also good but after that i was uh, using little bit of touch but yeah i means overall uh, whenever i call them whenever i need the support they were ready to support me and i get uh, means relevant knowledge from them and how much do you think your technical knowledge has been strengthened after the skilling course so uh, before it was uh, means if i scale it from 1 to 10 so before it was 6 uh, now it is 8 i can say Okay, that's a solid two points. That's that's good. Yeah. Um, and can you also tell us a bit more about your experience of dealing with the uh, career success team? Uh, they were very good. I can say. Uh, means uh, my uh, point of contact was uh, Naveen. So he helped me through lots of three things like uh, setting up my resume, then setting up my profile, uh, creating my LinkedIn profile. What should be added into it? What should not uh, be there? Uh, how I can make my LinkedIn profile more uh, means visible to the uh, people uh, or recruiter, I can say. So uh, yeah, I found uh, find out that they were very helpful. and uh, means they uh, also guide you to uh, means connect with the people on the linkedin so that helped me a lot and obviously you went through a lot of prep interviews you went through a lot of skill tests over here at skilling how different or how similar were they to the your actual interviews and actual skill tests that you took yeah so i had a three uh, mock interviews in a skilling so all of three were uh, means like uh, having uh, means we are uh, going through a step by step like uh, climbing a next level going to a next level like that way so uh, means that was uh, good i think so means i was not having so much of burden at once uh, so step by step i was going uh, through the mock interviews and then after uh, three mock interviews i had a final mock interview so there i got to know uh, like uh, where i'm lagging what i should improve and other things and before uh, means going for actual interview also i had a mock interview so i can say like mock interview was uh, much tougher than the actual so that turned out to be a good thing right it made you it made it easier for you to yeah 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 actually it's a good thing because if we are prepared for a, a toughest one then we can go for a easier one that's nice and um, can you also tell us a bit more about you know how else the skill link do you think has helped you i mean uh, we have a, we've had a lot of students who have come back to us saying that it's made me tougher it's it's given me uh, you know uh, the confidence to deal with anything in life have you also had uh, such a transformation uh yeah actually mock interview helped me a lot because uh means uh, when you go through the interview you get to know where you are lacking so in that case it helped me a lot i can say uh so that i could find out where i'm uh, having a means uh, less knowledge which uh, uh, sector i have to uh, means uh, enhance it means what i have to prepare uh, all those thing i got to know so i think this clarity is required so i got uh, through the skill link and uh, the last question uh, shweta would you recommend skill link to your friends and if so why 
yeah uh, if my friends are uh, means joining us link after ug then i'll re- uh, recommend them uh, very often read because uh, it will give you the uh, skill knowledge i can say uh, beside the uh, means academic knowledge that everybody has so it will make your profile quite unique and it will make you stand out okay all right um thank you so much uh, for taking the time of shweta we hope you uh, come back to us to study more and get better jobs um and uh, we wish you the best of luck for your future thank you so much yeah thank you